Hey everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Sophie Hannah here. I hope you guys are super well and staying safe. I am filming today. It's Monday. I actually filmed another um, TikTok filter, chooses my makeup. I'm going to show you a little sneaky peek because it looks so cute. I actually think it might already be up on TikTok but um, oh my god I had so much fun doing it this morning. Guys, how friggin' fun is this? Look, I'm obsessed. It is so fun doing that challenge. I just love it. Um, also, guys, I washed my hair this morning. And this is after one wash. Um, and I have to say, I think it pretty much looks exactly the same as it looked before I washed my hair. So literally straight after I dyed it, it's still super bright, like the pink is still very neon and very vibrant. Um, I need to see if it works still under a UV light. I mean, the pink wasn't as strong as the green and the yellow, but I just want to see if it still kind of works a little bit. Um, but yeah, the colour is holding up really, really well. I shampooed it, but I washed, um, I shampooed it with a colour uh protecting shampoo from red ken and i washed my hair in um very very kind of like lukewarm water a uh, good tip there if you want the color to hold don't wash your hair in hot water um but yeah it looks good so i'm just about to film one of those like sims clueless editing kind of style clothing videos i've got a sponsored post with i Heart raves um they do like a rave wear and edc is coming up so yeah, because I'm going out there, they just thought it'd be really cool to collaborate with me. Um, because obviously you guys know I love my festival wear. So I've got some amazing pieces. Let me just show you. Literally a box of goodies. Look at all these prints. Oh my God, also these sunglasses. So I'm going to film a styling kind of outfit video with those outfits to promo the fact that they have like a, a pop-up shop in Vegas before the festival so you can kind of go down get any last minute accessories last minute outfits um which is such a good idea by the way uh, which is in the luxor hotel um but anyway so i'm gonna film that but i thought because i'm doing one of those videos you guys always ask me how i film and edit them so i thought i would kind of show you a little bit behind the scenes of what i do so everything is filmed on my DSLR camera, which I've connected to my laptop. You can see me. Um, so I can kind of see like what I'm doing. So far away, yeah, I can kind of see what I'm doing. Little shooting corner. So I normally stand here and I basically stand really still and I video myself just being still. And then I basically take, I mean, I should probably take a high res photograph. Um, but because of, I don't have like a remote or anything and I'm so far away from my laptop, I just video myself being really still and then I take a screenshot of me being still. So basically kind of like take a still frame of that video footage, if that makes sense. I'll show you how we edit it later on after on Final Cut Pro. But yeah, so basically I video myself standing still in each different kind of position I need to be in. So first off, I'm gonna shoot just plain pants and bra. Okay, so I am going to record myself. I'm just gonna basically pretend that I'm getting a text message that tells me about this I Heart Rave Vegas store. Um, I'm gonna look like I've got nothing to wear. I'm like, oh my God, I've got nothing to wear. And then, oh my God, I get a text message. And oh my God, there's a pop-up store for I Heart Raves in Vegas before EDC, yay. And then it will stop and then kind of like, I'll pretend like I'm an avatar and it will swipe through to the different outfits. That's kind of like my vision. I have to like storyboard in my head before I do this. But anyway, right, I'm gonna film the first bit. So I'll get into position. So I do this a few times. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone down where I stood so I know which position to stand in. I always need to mark it out. Okay, I also got a shot of me just standing still because that's probably what I'll cut to before I go into the outfits. So now I just need to get into each individual outfit and then I'm gonna film a still of me and then I'm gonna spin, so it looks like I'm doing like a 360 looking at my whole outfit with the avatar, um, and then it'll be swiped to another outfit. So literally all I need to do is get into an outfit, stand still, and then twist 
standing still, like going round. So I'll put in some little snippets of behind the scenes of this. Okay, first outfit, little butterfly number. Um, I'm now gonna, yeah, stand still, spin. I will film it for you guys, and then obviously the rest of the outfits will be exactly the same. And then I'm gonna show you guys how we edit it together afterwards. Okay, I've done a few options there where I uh, spun round and then I also kind of did somewhere I was like moving um, and showing off the outfit. So yeah, so in post I can faff around with what I'm going to do. Right, now I'm going to move to the next outfits and yeah, then I'm going to show you guys how we edit. Okay guys, hopefully you can see my screen. The sun is shining so it's a little bit bright. But basically I've put all the footage into Final Cut Pro now. Um, this is what it looks like, so Instagram like Reels format um, and then basically this is my timeline along here and I've basically cut all the little sections where each position I'm like different so I've just cut them all down so now what I'm going to do is literally go into File, Share, Save Current Frame and I'm going to save that frame and it saves it as a still Okay, so all of the pictures, single shots, as you can see here, have been added into the timeline. You can see me spinning. Woo! Okay, next up, I'm going to go into Canva. So I'm just going to take one of these pictures. I'm going to go into Canva. So I'm in Canva. I've got the same frame up as my Final Cut Pro. And then there's loads of elements in Canva. So I'm just going to select like a cursor. And that's been added. Oh, I've made it white with a black outline just so it really stands out. I'm actually gonna make it a little bit less rounded. So then now I can kind of position that where I want it to go. It's a little bit too big. And then we'll copy and paste that. We'll flip it. Uh, how do I flip it again? <laughs> Okay, I've just spun it around and then we're going to position that so I'm like in the center. Cool. Okay, so they're going to be my cursors. So I've got a subscription to Canva so I can basically, basically delete the background and when I share it, download it with a transparent background, download it as PNG and then now I've imported that into Final Cut and you can see my arrows have now appeared and that's what I'm going to use with a mouse that's going to click so they're my cursors but I also need to have a cursor so that when it's clicked the cursor changes color so it looks like it's clicked and I'm always going to be clicking this cursor so I'm going to fill that one in in black and then we're going to export that transparent background so now I have two options. I've got the one with white and then one with white and then the other one's black. So when I click, that's what's going to kind of flash up so it looks like I've clicked. So here's an old timeline of another outfit video that I've done, which is this one. You can see there are loads of little cuts and snippets and stuff. This is at the bottom is my mouse click sound. So I can keep that from before. And then I've also got a mouse there in white and black. So I'm going to take both of those and use that for my new footage that I've got here. In terms of finding like the mouse cursor and stuff, again, you do the same. Go on Canva, they've got mouse cursors and download it with a transparent background. You can only do the transparent background thing on Canva if you have a subscription. It's quite cheap though. And actually Canva is actually really, really good. So this is what I've got so far. I've used a text message sound um, and then I've also got another kind of message sound. So this is what it looks like and sounds like. Text message sound, look at my phone. I'm gonna have a text come up on the screen about the pop-up shop. And then I've popped in like a mouse click noise just to transition from that to that. So now all my footage is basically in line. All I need to do is pop in a mouse click sound between each different like move that I'm doing, each different frame, um, and then use a mouse cursor, which this is a tricky bit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to move, make the mouse curve cursor like move. Okay, more editing. Sorry guys, I know this is long, but so many of you ask me how I do this. So I thought I'd just feature it in my vlog, seeing as this week's gonna be quite short because I think I'm only doing like four days and then I go away. 
Um, okay, so next bit is the spinning. So this is the sound that I've got for that, which is this noise. And then if you can see, for every time I spin, and yeah, every time I move, the sound comes in. So it looks like it's kind of part of the video, if that makes sense. Like I'm actually doing it in that with that noise. Like that. Okay, cool. So that's me spinning. And I've done that for every time I spin. And here, obviously, you can see the arrows. And then the arrows disappear. I'm like, ooh, yeah, cute outfit. Da, 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 da. And then we go back, click, click. Okay, so now I just need the cursor. Okay, guys. So I have my cursor. Now, you need to have it on transform. And then at the top here... This little kind of box thing comes up and that is what's going to help us move this mouse. So what you need to do is start at the beginning bit of your cut and put the mouse cursor where you want it. So I want it off the screen and then it's going to come in and click on that arrow. So I put it off the screen and then I'm going to click that little box in the middle there and that's going to start my movement. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip back one frame and then I'm just going to move that you can see this red line coming up where I want it to go and then we press play you guys can see I'll zoom in it's going to go like that so we'll do that again it's going to go like that and then what I'm going to do is add in a black cursor so it looks as though it's clicking this um, and then that's basically how you do a movement with a cursor. I feel like maybe if I'd screen recorded my screen done a voiceover, it would have been better. But anyways, I'm going to film it on my camera anyway. So, okay, this is what it looks like now. So we've got the cursor coming in, clicks. So on the timeline, this is the white cursor. It clicks to black and it goes back white again. And then I've cut another white cursor in line with the spin. See? So now what I want to do is make my cursor kind of go like this, like go round like that. So to do that, we're going to do the transform thing again. So we've got transform on. We're going to click that little button in the corner. But instead of going all the way to the end of the clip, we're going to, and then positioning the, the cursor, we're going to do it step by step. So every time I move, in that spin I'm going to move the cursor so I'm going to click there and then I'm going to move the cursor where I want it to go so I'm going to just move it down like there and then we're going to go back to the timeline we're going to click the next bit and then I'm going to go back up and move my cursor and we're going to keep doing that Oop, there and then we're going to move my cursor so now it looks something like that sorry this brightness keeps messing up but yeah you can kind of get the gist that the cursor moves around when it spins. Sorry, the brightness keeps going funny. Maybe let me know if you want me to do an actual proper, like in depth screen recording of the whole editing of one of these videos. Maybe that'll be better for you guys. But anyway, you can kind of see the gist of like how I mess around with some bits. Obviously that's not like using the clothing to slide across, but again, you do the same thing as the cursor. So pretend that's like a night of trousers. You basically like mock that up where you want it to go and you use that transform like little button to make it move. Um, so you do the same kind of like editing for that. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want a more in-depth tutorial. But for now, that's what I'm gonna show you. If you wanna see the finished video, then head over to my TikTok. Oh, I am tired this morning, but we're up and around. Basically, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you, but I'm getting um, the house shot for Real Homes magazine, which is super exciting. Um, basically, they contacted me last year, but it was like towards the end of summer, and it just, yeah, the weather was a bit naff, and I thought the garden like needs to be in the sunshine to look nice. Um, so we kind of postponed it, and then I had COVID, and then we had to postpone it again, and anyway, the guy's finally coming around today to shoot the house, so it's literally like so clean and spotless right now. Um, and the spare bedroom is just full of crap because we've basically stripped a lot of like the decor bits off to so it doesn't look cluttered. Uh, put it in the spare bedroom to make the house look like the best it's gonna look. 
um, for this guy to come around. So, yeah, very exciting. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out. I think it's like September, October issue. Um, oh, phone's going off. Um, but yeah, very exciting. And of course, I will share like the magazine with you when it comes out and the photos and stuff. Um, but yeah, the sun is shining today in the garden. And we got the pergola already the other day. Like, oh, I missed my pergola. I said to Robin, like, I forgot how nice it is being out here because she didn't use it over winter. And last year we didn't really use it because the weather was awful in summer. So yeah, it's nice to actually have all the furniture out there. The swings are up, the bar's up and ready. Um, yeah, it's looking nice. So I'm excited to see how this guy shoots my house today. Guys, I've literally just balanced my phone, my camera, on this like book box thing I've got on my tap. So if it falls off... Anyway, I'm gonna be really careful. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my skincare routine because I've switched it up. I feel like I've neglected my skin for quite a while, to be honest. And yes, yeah, so I've upped my skincare game. I know you should always persevere when you change up your skincare routine. Um, like I've got a little breakout like here, just one spot, but I'm going to keep going because for the first few days, my skin has felt incredible. So I feel like that's probably just, I don't even know where that's from. It doesn't really feel like a proper spot, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to take my lashes off if I can. Oh, I love these lashes, by the way. They're from Kiss and they're that one where... It's got like an invisible lash line. So I literally like glued them right against my lash line and then like stuck my lid to them. I've got a TikTok video um, where I've done that, but it's such a good way of wearing your lashes when you don't want to wear any eye makeup. Anyways, first up, I use my Elemis cleanser. This is my favorite cleansing balm. Obsessed with it. And yeah. I mean, it literally takes off all of your makeup. And then I just use a reusable pad to get it all off. But yeah, I literally just wipe this in all over my face. It feels greasy, um, but also really hydrating. Like my skin feels incredible afterwards. So I literally just shove that on my skin. Then I've got a reusable pad and I pop some water on it, just some like lukewarm water. And then literally, I take that all over my face. And honestly, this cleansing balm is incredible. I always use it for like my creative makeup looks because honestly, it gets everything off. Then I'm gonna take the LMS Superfood Radiance Facial Toner on a new reusable pad. And I'm going to pop that toner on all over my face, avoiding my under eye area. This is just going to get off any excess like dirt that's left on from cleansing. Then time for serum and because I'm going to bed, I'm using the Hangover Good in Bed Ultra Replenishing Hydrating Serum. It's got hyaluronic acid, coconut water, dragon fruit and vitamin B5 in great for my skin so i'm literally just popping it on a little bit of that all over my face love this honestly my skin feels incredible after this serum i haven't exfoliated tonight because i um did that the other day and i'm only doing that like twice a week um so that's why i avoided that step but normally i would exfoliate and for that I've been using the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. Love this, um, from Wishful Skin. Um, okay, I'm going in with an eye cream. Now I'm using the Caffeine Eye Cream from Mario Bedescu. Um, I found this in my stock the other day and I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna use it because I really, really feel like, I don't know, I'm at the age where I need an eye cream now. How depressing is that? <laughs> <gasps> um, I started, I don't know, I, I, I've been really trying to like mix up my um, concealer as well. So I'm just taking my um, eye cream underneath my eye, just dabbing and around up to my brows. Yeah, I feel like I'm at the age where I need an eye cream. Um, yeah, and sorry, I've been switching up my concealer 
to see if there's another concealer that just like my concealer sits like in all of my texture like i've got very textured under eye um you can't really see it when i don't wear any makeup but then when i put concealer on and then a powder is so textured under my eye and i've been trying so many different other concealers and powders but i'm just not getting the same look that i normally get with my favorite concealer powder combination so i'm like I'm kind of going for that textured kind of dry under eye look because nothing else seems to be working. Going in with moisturizer now. Uh, if anyone's got any tips for that, like literally I've tried so many different concealers, so many different powders and I just, I don't know. So that's why I feel like I need to focus on using an eye cream rather than just a moisturizer. Um, so I'm using the moisturizing lotion from CeraVe for dry to very dry skin. Um, I use this on my face and then I also pop it on my lids because this is something else that I've been getting lately. Maybe it's, I don't know. But basically, I've been getting really, really dry skin, kind of like dermatitis, I guess, because it must be an allergy, to either eyeliner or some lash glue. But by the way, guys, I've not changed my lash glue or eyeliner routine. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe it's COVID. Is it because I had COVID? No. No? No, it happened before that. So I don't know what's going on, but I've got really dry skin. Yeah, literally along my lash line. So I don't know whether it's eyelash glue or eyeliner, but I've not switched anything up. I've been using the same products and it's been going really freaking dry. Like literally so dry and I can like peel bits of skin off so gross um it's all right now but also they feel like a little bit tender as well unless somebody's checked have I got a lump unless somebody's changed their lash glue maybe it's the kiss eyelash glue because I used quite a bit today and did that new technique and I actually have I feel like I've got a lump do I have a lump like it's quite tender there Maybe Kiss have changed their formula for the eyelash glue because I never ever used to have any issues with any lash glue or anything. It must be the lash glue because I used quite a bit today and that is so tender. That's so annoying. Um, yeah, I've definitely got like a bit of a lump. Not a lump, but like it's raised and like that's tender there. And... I reckon by tomorrow it's probably going to be dry. So not good, but this has been helping um, for my dry lids. Not lids, but lash line. Um, but yeah, my under eye situ, I don't know. Because when I don't wear makeup, like it looks absolutely fine. But obviously I have that like redness that I don't really like. I like to conceal. So I like to wear concealer. But I also have like lines with the bags. And I just have my favourite combo and it's just, I don't know, it's just not doing it for me anymore. I feel like I need to find a new one, but I think it's going to be a gradual thing of like doing the skincare routine, waiting for it to, you know, because when you change up your skincare routine, it takes a while for your skin to like really kind of change. Um, so I'm going to keep at this skincare routine and see if that helps. Um, but then if not, I don't know, I need to switch things up. Anyways, guys, thought I'd just show you my updated skincare routine. Let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, ready for bed. Just had one of those um, digital video COVID test things. I've not actually done one before, but I had this really nice guy on the other end and it's actually really quick and easy to do. Um, anyways, guys, I am negative, I think, but I've got to wait eight more minutes. Um, and then I send that to benefit, they're gonna submit it, and then Hawaii tomorrow. Guys, it's time to pack for Hawaii and EDC. So, flying to Hawaii tomorrow, and I'm there until the 19th of May, and then I fly from Hawaii to Vegas for EDC festival. So I'm going on a press trip with Benefit Cosmetics, that's the Hawaii trip, which I'm so excited about. My first press trip since 2019, which is crazy. Um, and what a one to start on, like, wow. 
Um, yeah, but me and Robin basically had always planned to go to Vegas for EDC. And just timing wise, literally cutting it so fine, but just managed to get on this press trip. And luckily it's over that side of the world so I can literally fly from Hawaii to Vegas. Cause literally that's pretty much the way that everyone would need to fly home anyway. So yeah. Um, and Twee is gonna come with me cause she is gonna go to EDC as well. So yeah, really exciting. Uh, Robin's gonna fly out to Vegas, I think on the 18th and I'm gonna meet him there. But I'm taking two suitcases for two trips. So I need to pack one for Hawaii, one for EDC. So I'll kind of try and give you little snippets of what I'm packing. Um, but I don't want to show too much because I'm going to vlog both trips. So yeah, next Sunday expect a Hawaii vlog and the Sunday after expect an EDC vlog. Uh, well, EDC Vegas vlog. Um, so yeah, very exciting. Let's start packing. So I'm just trying on some of my outfits. I don't know whether any of you guys do this. I just love to plan my outfits before I pack my suitcase. I cannot throw in random bits and hope for the best because it's just not my vibe. Anyways, I'm trying on this cord and I'm obsessed with it and I need to show you. So I wore some stuff like this in the Maldives and I just really loved how it looked on my figure. So I have gone for something similar again. So this is from Meshki. It is a little top and then it's this maxi skirt, but it's got that really, I just find it so flattering on my figure. Um, flattering V kind of shape to the top of the skirt. Like kind of fishtail mermaid vibes, but then it's got these straps and basically I've strapped them around, come back around, cross them over. Then I've tucked them into the top and tied it. So then I've got this extra crisscross bit. So you could just do it without that, but I feel like it just adds something else. What do we think? I'm literally loving this. I feel like this is giving me Hawaii vibes. Um, yeah, and then just paired it with some little white sandals just really flat um but yeah what do we think i i love this i love this oh I look like a mess um i've just been trying on my edc outfits i'm so excited i am going all out as per um some of you were like you tamed it so much for coachella like that wasn't your normal festival fashion but Coachella isn't that kind of festival fashion. I feel like you dress for the festival. So EDC is like my typical kind of old school festy look where it's like, you know, Secret Garden Party, Boomtown, Tomorrowland vibes, like really like colorful light up stuff and yeah, just rave wear. So I'm gonna show you a few little bits that I've got. How cool are these? So these are fluffy, these are like fluffy leg warmer things that go over your boots um, and they light up. I don't, think, oh, I haven't got any batteries in, but they light up, how sick are they? So that's basically the theme. So EDC does a theme. I actually didn't know this, but weirdly my outfits all work with the theme. So I feel like it was meant to be. Um, obviously I've never been to EDC before. So literally I don't really know much about it. Like I've just seen it, seen the lineup. It looks sick. I've always wanted to go. Um, but just from like the music part of it, um, and just a whole vibe and how it looks. But I've never really known that they did like a theme or the ins and outs of like what it's really like to be there. Um, anyway, the theme this year is Bloom. Um, I wonder whether some festivals do do themes. Boomtown do a theme, I think. What do they do a theme? I can't remember. But Secret Garden Party this year is doing a theme and the theme is love. Um, so yeah, some festivals do, do a theme. I mean, a lot of people probably don't even listen to the theme, but... My outfits actually work so well. So one of my outfits is a butterfly outfit. Another outfit kind of is is rainbowy. Um, it's from Shop Easy Tiger, but it says see good in all things. And I feel like that kind of quote like links to like nature and like stuff. I feel like there's a link there. And then my other outfit is one of my skinny dip outfits, which has got daisies all over it, like graffiti daisy vibes. So yeah, I feel like I'm in sync. Um, also got these festival boots. They are demonia boots. I cannot wait to wear them. They actually feel really comfy. However, when you're on your feet for so long, I don't know if they're gonna be comfy. So I will report back, but they're sick. Um, and then, oh my God, actually I'm gonna keep those cause I'm gonna keep them a secret. Um, I've got braiding hair, of course, because I'm gonna be doing some like bubble braids and like just high kind of ponytail things. 
Um, then that way, because my hair colour is probably going to fade by the time I get to EDC, I'm going to bring some uh, dye to top it up when I'm out there. Um, but yeah, my hair's short and I like to go like all out. So I'm going to do like bubble braids, and maybe some like high like bunches with plaits and stuff. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so I've got my skinny dip outfit. It's that print, the graffiti daisy print, the trousers and the top. I mean, to be honest, I was, I tried it on and I was like, I feel like it needs more, like some bits of styling, but really, if I'm honest, it's an outfit in itself. Like it's got straps, it's got detailing. It doesn't actually need much to it. So I've just got the neon green braiding hair to go with it. And then I found this crown from Headspace Headdresses that I have had for ages, which actually works so well with the color palette. So I'm going to wear that. And then my final, oh wait, I haven't even shown you my bodysuit. So that was that look. I've got a butterfly outfit which the bodysuit, where have I lost the bodysuit? I've got these really cool fluffy shoulder pad things. <laughs> They're so cool for my butterfly outfit. I can't find my butterfly bodysuit. Got it, it was in my um, studio. So I've got this bodysuit. It's just very, I'd say plain because it is plain. Like it's quite simple, that's the word, not plain, it's simple. So it's just a simple bodysuit. It's from, um, J is it J it's Jay Valentine? Yeah, Jay Valentine. Love their stuff. Um, just sequin, but it's got these little like frill bits on the side of the leg. Really cute. So very simple, um, but obviously very sparkly. So very butterfly esque. And then yes, I've got the Shop Easy Tiger, see good and all things top. And then it comes with these bottoms, which I love. Um, it's all like whoa, nearly dropped them. So well made, I love her stuff. Um, then I've got these sequin pants that kind of go with it. And then it comes with this amazing hat. And then I've got rainbow, that's like a rainbow outfit, rainbow braiding hair. And then I've got loads of little bits like rainbow um, hair clips and bits of, oh, I've got these like sh leg strap things that light up. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them, but I've also got white fishnet tights as well. So yeah. I don't want to show you like everything. I've got a few more accessories and stuff um, and some light up things because I've always wanted to wear light up stuff to a festival and with EDC I feel like you can. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the EDC outfits. Uh, what else am I going to say? I just need to put it all in a suitcase now and start packing and going through my list. Um, which will probably take me a while. I mean, I've just faffed trying on outfits to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there slowly. It takes me a whole day to pack. Well, not a whole day, but it takes me quite a while to pack just because I like to plan on my outfits, especially festival, get all my accessories together, the makeup I need to do. So yeah, I really need to start putting it in a suitcase now. Oh, okay, suitcase is all ready to pack. I feel like I might end my vlog here, guys, because I feel like I've got so much to do and I need to edit this and schedule it in for Sunday. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned for all my outfits. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I feel like it was a bit all over the place. I didn't really do much. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how I do my fashion like editing videos. Let me know if you want a whole video of it, um, like dedicated, and I can just screen record my computer maybe. Um, but yeah, so freaking excited. Stay tuned for the next two vlogs because they're going to be epic. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, stay safe. Stay safe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace out.